quite get into the bowl on roller skates. Is it scary? It is scary. I am Tao Zuma. If you're watching this, no doubt you felt the fear of the park. And yeah, it doesn't go away. But you can get better at dealing with it. This is a tutorial for absolute beginners at the park. I'm going to show you how to get into the bowl, but I will not even mention the D word today because that's going to take a whole other video to explain and a completely different set of skills to do, but it is coming. Before we get into it and the bowl, if you'd like to take the subscribe button and smack the hell out of it or squash like that button, like it owes your money, go ahead. I'm happy to wait. Get some good smacks in. Before we get into the bowl, we should get to know her first. Check her out. See what she's about before you do a deep dive into her. Assuming you're super fresh at the park or skating in general. Otherwise, you probably won't be watching this video unless you're doing your own research. So new to the park or new skaters at the park, listen up, forget about the tricks and really focus on how you and your body feel. You want to get familiar with your surroundings and get to know the undulations of the bowl. Every transition, every curve can feel very, very different. Skating a new bowl is like getting to know a new partner. If you want a long and healthy relationship, get to know each other first. This is already a terrific start. Trying new things is hard, yo. Give yourself a pat on the back. How do you do that? Well, first, start with the visuals. Look around for entry and exit points. Some roll-ins have a smooth edge and some will have a squared edge. Most have a coping and the old school pool bowls, like that far one in the back, has that classic raised edge. Then it's the conditioning. Learning how to calm your nerves by skating near the edge, close enough that you can be around it without trundering in your pants. Once you feel a little bit braver, try putting one foot on the edge. You only want your foot there so you learn how that feels. Ask a friend to hold your hand if you need, or squat down into a cannonball if that makes you feel more grounded. Once you familiarize yourself with how the bowl looks and feels, if you're not being scared off yet, perhaps you're ready to take your relationship a little bit further and slide into her DMs. Sit at the edge of the bowl and push off with your hands, with your feet slightly raised and wheels just above the ground. Make sure you have some fabric between you and the bowl because rink rash is the devil, Bobby Boucher. Sliding into the bowl on your butt may ruin your pants, but it's a great way to get to know the transition and the bowl. Now, while I understand how embarrassing it can be to do this with prying eyes and the youths can have the most painful and the sharpest of daggers. But if you keep at it, they will see your tenacity and you can turn those daggers back into smiles. Just keep trying, y'all. Once you have slid on your kush a few more times, you're ready to try doing it upright. Now, it may be time to try sliding on your knees or your toe stops. While I always prefer to be off of my knees, not that I have a condition, I just prefer to stay on my feet whenever possible. This conditions my body to do what it takes to stay balanced. So I usually slide down with my toe stops. Plus, I feel like it's a safer distance between my face and my tooth with the coping. That being said, the technique is pretty much the same. Start parallel to the coping or edge. You can be on your knees or your toe stops or both, like a combination of those. Again, I find it easier, easier to be on my toe stops because I'm in a better position for action. You can start off with your back foot closest to the coping or edge. With your weight on your front foot, pick up your back leg and step over the coping. 
landing on your knee or toe stop. Another advantage for toe stops is that it makes it easier to control the slide. Just dig your toes into the ground and bend your knees and then adjust the pressure as necessary. Once you have a firm grip with the foot in the bowl, transfer your weight from your front foot to the back foot that is inside the bowl and bring your front foot in and slightly in front of your back foot into a staggered position and slide down. Feel free to grab the coping for extra grip. But like Elsa said, are they gonna go once you're three quarters of the way down? She didn't say about the three quarters way bit, I added that. Anyways, you can also take one finger off the coping at a time and then you can ease yourself into doing it sans hand. I know what you're thinking. Now that I'm, how the hell I'm going to get out of the bowl? To be continued in a separate video. If you're watching this, you might as well subscribe to the Madam Quad channel and like this video. It's just part odds at this point. Shut up, woman. We've heard this 10 times. Oh, the security guards must dream about this, like just 